finding a good song to just listen to while I'm recording. This is so off. All right, what is up, everyone? Welcome to episode tres, episode three of this thing I like to call car thoughts. Have you ever had a weird job? Yeah, well, let me tell you, I've had some pretty weird jobs. Not exactly weird in the sense that you probably think, but here we are with some weird jobs. Welcome to episode three of car thoughts. Uh, car thoughts. It's so crazy that I'm already on episode three, technically episode four, because the other one was a part two, uh, which will go on to part 37, just like I said, probably, I don't know. Um, today we're going to be talking about odd jobs, like I just said. For me, I've always had, like, it's, I've never had, like, super weird jobs, but I would probably say they'd be weird, like, in the mind of, like, other people, I would say. Um, I've worked at, I worked at a clothing store. Not too weird, but I worked at uh, a girl's clothing store because they had a boys section for like a second, and my sister worked there, so it was an easy get in. So when you think about that, odd job. I worked as a not as a bus boy, but I worked as not even a server, not even a waiter. I worked as just the guy who gets you your drink and uh, checks you in at a buffet. Yep, not exactly weird, not exactly different, but like out there, but it's weird. Because it's not like a waiter, it's not a busboy, it's just first person you see, here's a drink, um, here's your order, that's it. <laughs> uh, not your order, I guess. I basically would just like ring them up, that's it. Um, let's see. And then, yeah, I did some volunteer service, so I'm not going to count that. Uh, cause I've done a ton of volunteer service when it comes to like, technically musicals, I guess, would count as volunteer service as well. Uh, Boy Scouts, you know, the normal stuff. Um, up until now, I don't know, I worked as a customer service manager-ish <laughs> at, uh, at a grocery store. Uh, at the same time, I was kind of like a cashier, but that's kind of, that's more normal. But uh, right now, I'm a delivery driver for a salsa company, which is really weird. That's, that, this is probably the weirdest job I think I've had, as a salsa delivery driver. Anytime I get matched with any girl, and they ask you what you do for work, I always say I deliver salsa. Genuinely, the number one thing that is just like, all right, this guy, is, he's ambiguous. He's different. <laughs> um, yeah, currently delivering salsa. I just got done with my route, so we're just heading back now. Um, just realized that was turned on, so it's gonna be just fun audio editing for me. For those of you who don't know, my AC was just on, and it's like right behind the camera, so it's really annoying. I hate editing that part. But odd jobs. Let's talk about some stories with the odd jobs. So I used to work at uh, at the clothing store with my older sister, and yeah, I was the only boy there. Only person above five, see five eight, I would say, and the only person who had the strength to lift heavy boxes. That was it. That was all I did. That, and I wasn't scared to climb like a super tall ladder and just like organize stuff. That stuff I think really really high. I am horrified of heights. I hate heights. They scare the crap out of me. But, you know, when you're working around girls, you know, you get that, you get that little bit of oomph when you're working around, you know, some attractive people. Even though, you had some good ones, you had some bombshells. It, it's work, it's whatever. Like, you don't really think about that too much. I mean, I was also a, what was I? I was a junior when I was there, so. Uh, but what's, like, one of the weirdest things I think I can remember while I was there, uh, it's a little discriminatory, too. I had a couple of those moments. Um, it was just like, oh, yeah, he's a boy. He'll never, like, like, be, like, a higher rank. Just because, like, the part of the store that I worked in, it was just, like, a little boy's store. Little boy. That sounds so weird to say. I don't like that. <laughs> it's, like, little kids from ages, like, five to, like, 12. I would say. That's like the clothing that would be there. So in doing that, I, you know, just kind of hung out for the most part because I basically stayed in like my little section. Yeah, but I, I couldn't basically leave at all. And so while I was just working, I would literally just be bored, but you can't be on your phone because the mall, like they have, they are strict at the mall. Um, so when I would work, it was just, just me, you know. I'd go around the corner, it was just like, it's like the store is like this. I was like back here, it's like a little spot. So there's like a little entryway, and I like look out, and like outside of the little entryway, 
there was a there's a counter like the registers and everything. He'd be like, hey, can I like come out and help you guys or something? I'm alone and there's no boys here. <laughs> They're just like, no, stay over there. It was really it was upsetting. <laughs> but um, but I mean, I was kind of I don't I didn't really know what I expected when I went into there just because you know only boy in an all girls store the little section for boys yeah definitely like a really weird dynamic I would say so I will just kind of say I only worked there for six months so there's probably not like I don't really have a lot of like say in like it being like I guess like a weird story because I don't have a ton of weird stories from there because I worked there for so little like I worked there at the very very end I worked there for only like maybe a shift a week that was it and like the other two were on calls which there basically how it would work you would call them an hour before your shift to see if you would work or not so you basically had to just like keep your day open just in case they needed you and since I was a boy and you know during the week not a lot of was happening yeah I didn't really work during the week it was mainly like Saturdays and maybe like a Tuesday I don't know um but yeah as weird stories go I will say, I will say this, I was caught in a little bit of drama, so me being the only boy, and I come from a family where it's just all girls, so naturally, I'm, I'm really good at like working with and talking with girls, I would say just because of that, so in me having this expertise, uh, I mainly only talk to girls, I would say, just because I, I had like a best friend or two you know growing up but I was always moving around so it was never like a lot um and I'd be basically be with my sisters or their friends too so for me it's just like natural just to talk to girls a lot more uh, oh my gosh homie by the way if you drive a red car you're old just unless it's like a cherry red or like a light red if it's a dark like if it's like a maroon you're old like just guaranteed sorry Especially if it's a Ford EcoSport or a Ford Escape. That's easily old people territory. <laughs> um, but while I was there, yeah, I'm a huge flirt. I'll come come right out and say it. I'm a massive flirt because it's so easy. <laughs> it's so easy for me to like be like that nice flirty-ish type person. So yeah, so for me, flirting super easy it's so easy to me to like kind of find my way to like flirt with somebody but at the same time a lot of the times when I'm just super nice because I'm super nice but it's also like if I'm ever mean these are like the things that like I consider kind of flirty when I'm talking with somebody but um like for me like so it gets super misconstrued when I would talk to people sometimes like if I'm being flirty or if I'm just being nice because it's kind of the same for me, I would say. So that's probably why I say that I'm like I'm really good at being flirty. Because I don't know, I'm just a nice guy. Um, but yeah, there was this one drama, and I got into work one day, and these girls were like, "Hey, we heard. That's awesome." I'm like, "What did you hear?" <laughs> like, that's the weirdest thing I think I came into. I was like, "That's really weird. What? What did? What did you hear?" They're just like, oh, we heard that you have, like, a crush on somebody, and, um, yeah, good for you. That's awesome. They're just like, <laughs> that's still super vague. Who are you talking about? Oh, that one girl. I'm not going to say her name. That one girl. Really? Who told you that? It's like, oh, there's just, like, a rumor going around that you have, like, a massive crush on her. It's like, is that right? Is that right? Um, I mean, she cute, absolutely, but <laughs> that I have what they would call a massive crush on her, that's no. <laughs> Especially since she has a boyfriend, which ripped the dream, but you know, and she's engaged now, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so more power to her. Like, I don't, I didn't care. <laughs> uh, everyone just kind of like blew it up. I'm like, what the heck, that's so weird. So then I'm like working throughout the day, and I would get, I would get like glance, just like, just like, why are you giving me that look? I literally told you there's nothing to this story that you have. And that girl, she came in that day. I literally looked at the schedule. I'm like, oh crap, she's coming in today. And so she came in that day, and so it would always be like, 
people kind of around her. And like the other associates, they would like kind of be around her and she's like, oh my gosh, I swear if you guys are like talking about me liking her or something, I'm gonna be upset and I'm gonna be mad. So thankfully that wasn't the case. But after work, she did actually talk. What the heck? There's a dog on the back of this just truck. Oh my gosh, that makes me so sad. Hi, puppy. I mean, if they're like brave enough, that's cool. But sorry, ADHD. Um, but she like comes up to me. She's like, "Hey, Christian, how are you?" I'm like, "I'm good. How are you? What's going on?" She's like, "You know, work." I'm like, "I feel hot <laughs> spirit." You know, the normal things you would do to like to talk to like, a normal person. Exactly. Um, so then I bring up, I'm like, hey, did you hear about this? She's like, what? Apparently I have this massive crush on you. And it's, yeah, it's apparently so massive that we're going to be like going out soon. And she's like, what? I'm like, yeah, trust me. I'm, I, I'm surprised too. I thought we were going to take things slow. <laughs> Just like joking with it. And she's like, what the heck? Who told you that? And I'm like, I'm not going to say who because <laughs> I don't want you to be like upset with them. But yeah, apparently there's like a rumor going around that like I have this massive crush on you and it's like insane. She's like, that's okay. Well, I can kind of see how it is because, you know, you're the only boy here and you're funny and nice. So I guess I could kind of be like misconstrued to like like liking me or having a crush on me. It's just like, you don't, you don't feel that way, right? And I'm just like, no, no, whatever. <laughs> I mean, she was super cute, and it was fun to talk to her, so there's, like, that little bit of, like, a crush-ish type thing, I would say, but, like, she had a boyfriend, and I understood that, I still understand that, <laughs> I still um, so I'm like, alright, whatever, I didn't really care, um, but, yeah, hatchet buried, you know, just like, whatever, who cares, and, yeah, everyone just, like, after that, everyone just kind of looked at you weird, just like, I thought you were, you and her were going to start dating. It's just like, what the, where did that all come from? Who's telling you all of this? And I know it's not her because she's dating somebody. Unless she was like planning to break up with them, which as we're seeing with the line of events, it didn't happen. So, you know, uh, yeah, that's probably, I would say the weirdest story I have from this place. So I don't really have a ton of weird stories, I would say. Um... But definitely more to come, I can promise you that, because I have several other years of work experience that I can tell you about. Um, so look out for that. Thank you guys for watching. I'm so excited for more episodes coming out with like this little bit of a time frame, just like 10 minutes-ish per, per episode-ish, something like that. And I'm super stoked for the followers that I have, the subscribers that I have, so thank you guys for watching. And uh, yeah. See you on the next one. Like and subscribe, please. Thank you.